going on, everybody? I go by the name of Kari, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Three years of trolling, three years of bashing, three years of trying to blackball and cancel, boy. But we are finally here today. Today, we are finally taking a look at the 100% authentic version of a sneaker that I showed to you guys three years ago that almost got me kicked out of the entire sneaker community. I am excited to share these with you guys today. We're gonna talk about the history of this sneaker. We're gonna talk about what in the world happened with myself and a few other creators with this sneaker back in the day. We're gonna talk about we, we got a lot to talk about. Without further ado, let's get into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the actual 2022 Air Jordan 1 Yellow Toe, AKA the Taxi. Man, y'all know I had to get these early. Y'all know the moment that the authentic pairs were available, I had to do whatever I had to do, pay whatever I had to pay to get my hands on these early. These, first impressions, good looking sneaker. It's a great shoe. We're gonna talk about all the things we're going to talk about the inspiration we're going to take a little deeper look at the shoe but before we get to that let's get back to the packaging now special edition packaging on these once again every time we get this air jordan one packaging this special color coordinated packaging with the shoe it always makes me wonder what in the world happened with the brotherhoods and why it was so difficult for the brand to give us a purple and gold box for that sneaker with the purple and gold sneaker. Y'all called it the Brotherhood. Why could we not get a matching box with the sneaker? It already had a, a story behind it, but that's not even the most important part. This is the most important part, y'all. Listen, take it up with God and Goat. Don't take it up with me. As I mentioned, this is a 100% authentic version. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear any of that. I've already talked about them yellow toes. I've got the yellow toes today. We're gonna get into it. Let's get into the shoe. All right, starting with the upper of the shoe here, that now, classic color blocking like we've seen on a lot of the different sneakers that were coming out back in 2019. You guys remember, we had a bit of a run with this color blocking, this kind of bread toe-ish type of color blocking. We had pine greens, we had core purples, the first versions. And now with these, we have a similar color blocking with the taxis. I'm gonna keep using that word taxi yellow because it truly does represent the shade of yellow on this shoe. This shoe is so yellow that it's almost orange. It looks like a piece of cheese or something like that. So taxi yellow, all along the collar of the shoe, around the heel, and of course on the toe box of the sneaker as well. Black Ball and Wings logo, classic, of course, on the lateral side. Classic black Air Jordan leather around the collar, down the eyelets of the shoe, on the mud guards, on the toe box, and on the swoosh. We do need to keep in mind that this leather, the black leather, is not as good as the sail colored leather here, this white kind of cream colored leather. This leather in the quarter panel, very nice, very tumbled. The leather even on the yellow or taxi leather is a lot better, but that black leather is just it's gonna be regular run-of-the-mill black leather, guys. Nothing really special about it. I know a lot of people talking about shattered backboards. I, I guess, I, I don't know where we are with the comparison, but the leather's nice. Taking the top down, look at the shoe here. Taxi colored leather in the toe box as well. You guys can see just how nice that leather is. Again, when you kind of push on a little bit, really nice leather. Regular black nylon tongue leading up to the white with the taxi colored Nike Air on the tongue tag. You guys may have noticed a little tag here that looked like it was extra laces. It's actually not. This is actually the Nike Korea tag. If you guys have never actually seen a real Nike Korea tag, that's pretty much what it looks like when you flip it open. It has kind of the information from the shoe itself and a little bit of tag in there but there's actually no extra laces that comes with this sneaker so as Mr. Unloved Ones actually kind of put out there already no extra laces with these so if your pair came with black laces or white laces or whatever you probably got some fakes because these actually came with no extra laces at all. All right, getting back to the shoe, taxi colored outsole here, classic Air Jordan 1 outsole, all taxi color here, very nice. And on the insole, this is actually more traditional yellow, kind of a mustard yellow than the taxi color on the outer of the shoe, but we do have a more yellow colored insole with that black Nike Air on the heel. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the Air Jordan 1 yellow toe, AKA the Air Jordan 1 taxi. Now let's talk a little bit about the history of this sneaker and where we kind of went wrong as far as YouTube goes. All right, you guys have probably heard this history a thousand times, but back around 2017, 2018-ish, Shine Down, a rock band from here in the United States, came out with an album called Attention, Attention. They got 23 sample pairs of a special yellow toe looking Air Jordan 1 that actually had the Attention, Attention album detail on the lateral heel. It's a really good looking sneaker. Now, because of how good the sneaker looked and the fact that we were also in the pine green court purple phase right now, it only made sense to do that same color blocking on a yellow version because of how dope the shine downs look. And that's where these came into play. So 
So the legend has it allegedly that some sample pairs of a yellow toe Air Jordan 1 that looked a lot like the Shine Down Air Jordan 1s were produced. Well, as we know, a lot of these samples are made overseas. And what I personally think probably ended up happening is even though 99% of the time when a sample starts going into production and they start putting a, a style code and a color code on it and stuff like that, it usually ramps up kind of the replicas and it ramps up production of a shoe. This shoe in particular never really made it past that look-see kind of sample stage before allegedly Shinedown had an issue with the fact that the sneaker that was supposed to be for them was now about to go into mass production and it was going to be the yellow toe to complement all the other sneakers. So apparently production stopped at the sample stage but it didn't stop some replicas from getting out there into the wild. Now those replicas really looked and seemed very legit. Now the only thing that was a little suspect in in hindsight that I noticed was the style and the color code of this shoe. The style code of this shoe was like AR 1020-700, which is interesting because even with a style code that looked a little off like that, it didn't stop all of the big blogs and the major websites from running stories that still exist on the internet to this day about the fact that this sneaker was getting ready to drop back in 2019 and everybody was starting to get excited for it naturally. As YouTubers, we were excited for it too. So when the opportunity presented itself for us to be able to get our hands on a pair, we jumped on it. Now I'm not gonna call out any other YouTubers that got their hands on them because they may not wanna be included with this, but if you know, you know, it is what it is. And I was one of those people that paid the high money to get their hands on this sneaker. And then I waited and waited and waited and the sneaker never came out. And I never really heard anything else about it. Then about a year to a year and a half later, images of these yellow toes started and popping out and I realized, uh-oh, that we there might be a problem. And that's when I started kind of doubling back and doing a lot of due diligence and was told that these shoes were good, was told that they were fine, all this kind of stuff, whatever the case is. Whatever the case is, we've already discussed on the Sapphire 7 video the fact that these and of course the patent breads turned out not to be authentic. So I wanted to give you guys a comparison because now looking at the two of these sneakers, you can see how different those colors were. I mean, these are both called the yellow toe, but this is clearly a lot different shade of yellow than these taxi ones here. So they really did take inspiration from the taxi 12s, which just by the way, is supposed to be the inspiration. It's supposed to adapt the taxi 12 colorway to the Air Jordan 1, similar to how the True Blue 3 colorway was put on the Blue 13s that are getting ready to come out, just like how the Concord 11 colorway was put on the Air Jordan 5 Concords. This was supposed to be another reimagination, if you will, of a classic colorway put on another silhouette. So this is a Taxi 12 on an Air Jordan 1, supposedly. But it's very easy to get it twisted about what a yellow toe might look like. Granted, with these, the materials on it were good. The leather felt fantastic. You know, everything seemed to be in place. And again, it made sense for a sneaker like that to drop at the time because all the other sneakers that were dropping at the time had this same color blocking. Red toes, green toes, purple toes, and of course, yellow toes would have made a lot of sense, but here we are. Needless to say, I was almost laughed off of Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for putting this shoe out there. Now, since then, I believe the reviews of this sneaker have pretty much come down, but if you saw the video, hey, my apologies. Hopefully, you still enjoyed seeing the video. Again, I just wasn't under the impression that this sneaker was what it was, but here we are now. Here we are with the authentic, actual version of the Air Jordan 1 Taxi, or AKA the Air Jordan 1 Yellow Toe. It's a good looking shoe. I think it's gonna do very well. I think that it's gonna sell pretty well. Now, for what my reseller homies are telling me out here, Jordan 1s are not that hot. Is that true? Like, sound up down in the comments and let me know, like, are Air Jordan 1s really cooling off right now? I mean, maybe I'm behind on the times, but I thought the Jordan 1s were still making noise out here, especially with the frenzy that I've been seeing with the reimagined Chicago ones that are supposed to be dropping this holiday season. So, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are still gonna be trying to get their hands on these, especially people that saw these a couple of years ago and were excited about these and now finally are seeing them come into fruition, even if they look a little different. It's so crazy looking at how different these are now because at first I really thought that the main difference was the fact that this tag was black with yellow writing and this tag was white with the taxi writing. But now, my goodness, just look at the difference in colors. I, I was way off. I mean, wow, I was wrong. But aren't we all sometimes? And I think what's most important when it comes to these sneakers is not that we get it wrong sometimes. Like, let me let me just take a second, right? Like, 
We get it wrong sometimes on YouTube. I know there's a lot of people out here that are gonna make it seem like they never get anything wrong and maybe they would just rather delete a video or just not say anything about it because they don't like taking accountability for the fact that they're wrong and they gotta look like a certain thing out here. But I don't know, y'all, maybe I'm a little bit different. I'm not trying to look like anything out here than what I am, which is a sneakerhead that loves the history, that loves inspiration, and that really digs sneakers. But outside of that, I'm just a regular guy. I'm gonna make regular guy mistakes, especially when it comes to getting the shoes out that I know you guys wanna see. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Can I keep it a buck with y'all today? I'm gonna keep it a buck. There's two types of videos that really are even getting watched on YouTube these days when it comes to sneakers. That's resale vlogs with a big cash price in the title. I spent $50,000 in sneaker content. I spent a hundred thousand dollars a sneaker con. I spent a million dollars a sneaker con. Taking a look at a five million dollar sneaker collection. And taking a look at a billion dollar sneaker collection. Like all these types of videos, or it's early looks. Early looks are the only thing that are really keeping a lot of channels afloat these days because a lot of you guys that are watching your videos, you either want to see early sneakers or you want to see how much cash somebody is spending at sneaker con these days. So as creators, it's up to us to make the content that's going to keep you guys watching it. So if you guys want to see early looks, we're going to give you early looks but unfortunately sometimes we get got with those early looks because we aren't doing as much due diligence as we probably should be doing trying to keep all the sneakers coming in and that's where a few of us got jammed up when it came to the yellow toes we saw the shoe it made a lot of sense it seemed to pass all the legit checks everything seemed to be on point and it seemed very appropriate with the time and that's why we put the shoe out there, but thanks to the onslaught of videos that were very inflammatory and very derogatory from people like MK The Truth or Rob Dollar or anybody else that was talking crazy about the people that had these sneakers, thank you for putting the fire up underneath us and the battery in our back to make sure that we got our hands on the authentic pairs. Now I'm sure that there won't be any videos made about me getting my hands on the authentic pair, but at least you guys got your views and your engagement on the fake pair. So. You're welcome. So I hope that you guys have found it in your hearts to forgive me for making this mistake, trying to get the shoe out to you guys. My bank account still hasn't forgiven me for losing out on the money, but it is what it is. We press on. But naturally, I had to make it up to you guys by giving you guys an early look, a first look. I think one of the first probably here in the United States. I know these are kind of tough to get your hands on right now. I know they just dropped for Sneakers Day on a shot drop overseas. And so I just had to go on go. Luckily, there was a pair already available, but I'm sure that you guys are going to be seeing a lot more reviews on these from more reviewers here in the United States. If you haven't seen many reviews yet, Elliot Page just did a dope one. He shouted me out, so I'm gonna shout him back out. Salute to Elliot, did a fantastic job on that video. But yeah, I wanted you guys to see what these really look like, what the real ones look like, what they're gonna be, and hopefully you guys are able to get your hands on a pair of these on September the 24th. Of course, we all know that those dates are subject to change. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is the resale market. Should you hold or sell these? How much are these gonna be worth on the resale market. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to be worth on the resale market. All I know is that they're going to look great on your feet. I'm not sure how well these are going to perform. If you should hold them or sell them. If you want my opinion as a regular person, I guess they'll do pretty well, but I don't think that they're going to be worth a ton of money just because of where the market currently is. That's just from my perspective, but I, I don't know. That's all I know about resale. But despite that, it's going to be a great sneaker to put on foot when you guys are able to get your hands on a pair of these be they early. I think you can probably get a pretty decent deal on these early. Just make sure that you're doing your authentication checks, all of your legit checking to make sure that you're getting a 100% authentic pairs. Again, make sure your pairs do not come with any laces. If they do, go get your money back. But now it's time for you guys to sound off down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the 2022 Yellow Toe, AKA Taxi Air Jordan 1. Are these ones that you guys are trying to get your hands on? Are these a must cop? Are these a must have? Or are these gonna be a hard pass for you for whatever reason sound down below let me know of course for you down in the comments make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the sneaker fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because i guarantee you i got a lot more heat on the way as always i want to thank you guys for joining me here today on sneaker fetish taking a look at these with me unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes i go by the name of kari this is the 2022 air jordan one yellow toe aka taxi and until next time i'm out